Venture capital investing has been slowing down since 2021, but AI keeps gobbling up more and more venture capital dollars. Today, we're going to talk about what this means for your AI investing strategy. I'm Evan Goldstein. I'm a licensed professional engineer and a data scientist. One of the things I do here at AI Capitalist is to look at where the capital is actually going. Of course, nothing I'm saying constitutes investment advice. I'm a well-licensed engineer, not a licensed investment counselor. Funding for AI startups is raking in about a third of all venture capital cash in both the second and third quarters. The venture scene has been on a bit of a downslide since 2021, but the rush for those AI deals doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Ever since OpenAI dropped ChatGPT almost two years ago, venture capitalists have been totally obsessed with AI investments. It's now the biggest chunk of the venture funding pie, and the latest reports show that it's not stopping anytime soon. In the third quarter, around 31% of global venture funding went to AI startups, which is pretty impressive. It's the second highest share ever, according to CB Insights. While that's a slight dip from the 35% in second quarter, it's still a huge jump from just a couple of years back. Back in the third quarter of 2022, AI only snagged 13% of all venture deal value. To give you some perspective, FinTech was only getting about 20% of all funding in 2021, and even crypto never hit more than 6% at its peak, according to Crunchbase data. Nowadays, AI is stealing the spotlight, and it's overshadowing the once mighty sectors. FinTech got knocked down to second place in the third quarter of the year, with just 13% of the funding pie. AI is definitely ruling the roost, and AI companies are almost drawing all of the attention away from the others. So that said, funding for AI startups did drop by about 30% to $16.8 billion in the third quarter compared to last. The just this month, OpenAI announced a whopping $6.6 .6 billion funding round led by Thrive Capital, with backing from tech giants like Microsoft and NVIDIA. Even with this AI focus, valuations for these companies are climbing while investors are finding it tough to cash out of late-stage startups that are holding on to high valuations. One of the standout AI deals this quarter was Safe Superintelligence, which landed a cool billion-dollar round from the big-name investors like Anderson Horowitz and from Sequoia Capital. Rounds of $100 million and up across all sectors made up 39% of the overall global funding value, which is down from about 47% in the previous quarter. That represents a real loss of value. But if you feel that you're gaining value from this episode, please push the like button. That's how we grow this channel together. So on the other hand, the overall venture market isn't really doing so hot. Funding fell almost 20% to $54.7 billion from the last quarter and down 21% compared to last year. It's like we've got this split market going on where a lot of it is mirroring the dot-com crash from around 2000. But there's this little corner of the market driven by generative AI that's ramping up like a personal computing was in the late 90s. So is there good news for AI funding? There is. Venture firms have plenty of cash lined up. By the end of the first quarter, US venture firms had $328.4 billion in dry powder. Money raised, but not yet put to work. So it doesn't seem like this trend is gonna slow down. There's still a ton of excitement in tech and that pile of money, especially from larger firms, is just sitting there waiting to be invested. 